Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Dray Queen Game, and as some of you may on Twitter, The Gaming Dragon, today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Cilio, Ty's Path. So y'all, before we jump into it, just wanted to let y'all know that we are now in our new apartment. We've got plenty more content planned for y'all, we're just getting settled and everything. I've got kind of a hectic work schedule right now, but it really helps if y'all check out that Patreon. More content is coming for it, more, some more, uh, you know, awesome not safe for work videos and such, and a permanent access to our community Discord server. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. Let's see, Ooh, we on that one right there. Let's do it. All right. Well, that leaves just us then. So it does. Gotta admit, though, surprised you offered to let me go instead of Diego. Ah, but it went exactly as planned. After your insistence on being here in the first place, I did not expect you to simply walk away. Ah, smart. Why the bluff, though? I suppose I wanted to see it for myself. Confirm that theory of mine. I'm glad I was right. Anyway, we do not have much left to sell, but we may as well remain open for another hour or so. Any objections? Okay. None. Wonderful. Oh, and discount those beers half off. I want them gone. Oh god, the awful, weird, weird beers. Another hour or so had passed only a few customers visiting the stall. Despite this, I did manage to move another bottle of beer, a bottle the customer took a hearty gulp of and spat out on the ground. Ty had instructed me to begin closing up, just as three familiar faces arrived at the counter. Hey, hey, we're not too late, are we? Hey, Hunter. <sighs> Evening. Hey, guys. Just in the nick of time, actually. We were just about to close up. Sweet. Hey, Ty, don't suppose you'll sell us some leftovers cheap, would ya? I turned to look at Ty, who reluctantly sighed and nodded. Sweet, uh, damn, no burgers. Um, I'll take mild nachos. Axel? Ooh, I'll, I'll have nachos, too. Make mine a burrito. Any drink? Uh, any drinks? Beers are half off. You can stick those beers straight up your ass. I'll take a soda instead. Me, too. What's wrong? Uh, what's wrong with... <clears throat> what voice should I do for a dom? What's wrong with the beers? Dude. Trust me. Just trust me. Go for the soda. Huh. I uh, guess I'd better make it a soda, then. I grabbed their drinks while Ty busily prepared their orders in the background. So you're closing up after this, right, Hunter? That's the plan. Say, Axel, Don, say, Axel, Dom, and I were gonna head back to Axel's place and play some video games. You should come with. That makes sense. There's four controllers, after all. The more the merrier, right? Oh, um... While the proposal did sound appealing, I had something else in mind. Alas, it would be difficult to explain without spilling what was going on between Ty and me. As I awkwardly shuffled my feet, thinking of an excuse, Axel and I made eye contact. The look on his face told me he understood, and the wink he snuck me suggested he had a plan, although I wasn't quite prepared for what, it, for what happened next. Oh, oh no! Hmm? What is it, Axel? I, uh, I think I left the oven on! What? Seriously? Axel, you've been here for nearly eight hours. I know. Isn't it terrible? We need to go right now. My house might be on fire. You know, if there was a fire, I'm sure we'd have heard about it by now. But what if we didn't? Please? I'm so scared. Fine. <laughs> Neither Don nor Diego seemed to buy Axel's terrible excuse, but reluctantly agreed to get along, go along with him anyway. Dom in particular was clearly very suspicious, knowing Axel better than anybody and knowing how out of character this all was. Sorry, Hunter. We'll be at Axel's, assuming it ain't a crater by now. I guess we're heading off now. But we might see you later, we might see you later, yeah? Maybe. Good luck. Hope there's no fire. Axel winked at me once more before the three of them briskly departed in the direction of Axel's apartment. Just what on earth was all that about? Heh, <laughs> that cheetah's one hell of an awful liar, but I owe him one. Oh, why so? Because now I have you all to myself. Ah, I can only assume Axel knows then. I suppose we were not all that subtle yesterday, but as much as I applaud your work ethic, I fear you may have wasted your time. What do you mean? My attention was diverted to a familiar vehicle pulling up beside our stall, with Lucas and Eric hopping out on either side once it had come to a stop. Lucas and Eric will be cleaning up and dismantling everything. There's not a whole lot for us to do. Well, you know, this that isn't exactly what I had in mind. Oh, then clue me in. Just what do you have in mind? You said it yourself, despite some hiccups today was a success. I was thinking you and I could celebrate that. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> What's like, you know, water time. Oh, Ty, you sly W. No, Hunter's the one who uh, came up with it, so. You know, I quite like the sound of that. Evening. Jeez, there's nothing left. 
Indeed, we have sold almost everything. Today was quite a success. I'm glad to hear it. Oh, would, you, would the two of you mind terribly if we were to depart? It has been a long day, you understand. No problem. That's what you're paying for. Won't take us long at all to pull everything down. Great. Oh, and feel free to help yourself to the beers in the fridges, thanks. They're on the house. Sweet! Free beers! What do you say, big guy? <laughs> After we've finished. Got it? Copy that. The two of them quickly got to work, cleaning up the mess, packing away the appliances and dismantling the stall. Tell I headed outside to resume our conversation. I can't believe you gave them those nasty beers. That's cruel, Ty. Indeed, I expect a grumpy phone call from Lucas tomorrow. Oh, well. So, any ideas where we should go celebrate? Hmm. Well, my place is not far, and there's a bottle of aged scotch there just begging for such an occasion. You're bringing me back to your place already, huh? Hell, I'm down. Let's... Where are you two lovebirds sneaking off to? For your information, we intend to celebrate the fruits of our labor. It has been a long and hard day, after all. Yeah, long and hard. I get you. What are you insinuating? It was merely a figure of speech. Sure, sure. Don't worry about the stall. We've got it covered. You two celebrate to your heart's content. What you doing, little girl? Little girl. You got a little girl over here. Yeah. Come on. Yes, that's my baby girl. You have moved so much in this past year, you little sweet girl. Yes. This is now going to be your home for a nice long time. Yes. Alright. Oh, I got our fur popping up over here. Okay. Welcome to my humble abode. Please, make yourself at home. This was the first time I had seen Ty's house. And admittedly, I was impressed, although I don't honestly I don't know quite what I expected. It was clear that Ty had money. The house was sizable, modern, and filled with nice things. Uh, through the window, I could even see a swimming pool. Damn, this place is real nice, Ty. You've got a, you've got a pool? Jesus. I mean, jealous. <laughs> pool? Jealous. Years of hard work have paid off. I have something of a home gym downstairs as well, although I hardly mean to boast. Explains why you're in such fantastic shape. Oh, I thank you. Your compliment means a lot. Now... Ty made his way into the kitchen and retrieved an expensive-looking bottle and two glasses from a cabinet before filling those glasses with ice, adding the contents of the bottle and then returning to the living room with both glasses in hand. Ty passed the first of these glasses to me with a smile and held, up his, and held his up expectantly. A toast to a successful day. How about to us? A ho! Ty seemed somewhat taken aback by my toast. To us, then. But he hardly seemed against the idea, either. We clinked our glasses together before each taking a sip. Ugh! It, ta almost, it tasted almost like a swig of straight gasoline. Looking up at Ty, I met his... Wandering around, you silly cat. It tasted... Yes, I see you. Silly thing. You get your little tail everywhere. It tasted almost like a swig of straight gasoline. Looking up at Ty, I met his expectant gaze and forced a smile. Well, what do you think? That's, ugh, lovely. Please, any simpleton could, could see you have, have, to, have yet to develop a taste for it. That is quite all right. We have plenty of time. This is only the finest scotch whiskey. A bottle of this goes for thousands. I have been saving it for special occasions such as this. Thousands? Ch cheese, are you, on the, are you sure the occasion is worth it? One second, y'all. Water time. Let me turn the music up a little bit, actually. There we go. This bottle... Oh. This bottle was a gift. So if your concern is that you are sipping away at my hard-earned money, you can relax. And yes, I assure you the occasion is well worth it. After all, I am in terrific company. I couldn't, I couldn't help but smile at Ty's remark as I took another sip of my whiskey. Ugh! Oh, man! Permit me to fetch you something a little easier to drink. Ty departed for the kitchen once more, fetching a bottle of tropical cider from his fridge along with two new glasses before returning to his position on the couch. Here we are. I think you will find this more agreeable. Be sure to take it easy, though. It will sneak up on you. Ty filled my glass, with which I grabbed and drank in one big gulp, all the while holding eye contact with Ty's, unsur with Ty's surprised face. You were saying? Not letting me get the better of him, Ty followed suit, downing his glass in one as well. This is a dangerous game you are playing, Hunter. You say that as though you mind. 
Oh, not one bit. But if that is the easy way things are going, neither of us will be in any state to take you home. Uh, perhaps that's all part of my master plan? I never knew you were so cunning. I must admit, I enjoyed a great deal. I reached over and picked up the bottle of cider, pouring another glass for each of us before returning to my position with mine. Ty obliged, picking, his, uh, picking up his glass and taking several swigs. A dangerous game indeed. You realize you are, you are scheduled on at the bar tomorrow, yes? Oh! Ty chuckled heartily before resuming the conversation with a warm smile. Ah, uh, but worry not. The truth be told, I find the trajectory of this encounter to be quite intriguing, and I am most excited to see where it leads. Please, take tomorrow off. I will manage. Are you sure? I wouldn't want to let you down. Certain. I have made my choice. Please, do not worry about it. I feel a little guilty, but uh, I'll take your word for it. Please do. So tell me. You worked for the company that developed our point-of-sale software, did you not? How was it? Oh, that? Absolutely horrendous. I was living in the big city, working more than full-time hours and only putting away two dollars above minimum wage. Two dollars? Surely that cannot be right. I kid you not, I was living in a studio apartment, super run down. Two-thirds of my paycheck. The pipes rattled and leaked, the floorboards creaked, and I got a mouthful of dust whenever the neighbors went upstairs went at it. I was, on a, I, was one, I was one of a batch of seven hired straight out of university. They called it an internship and told us how lucky we were to even be getting that. I remember one of the guys in my group confronted our boss on that. He was like, we got rent to pay, food to buy, student loans to pay off. How are we supposed to survive in the heart of the city on that kind of money? What did he say? He went on this big rant about our entitled generation, about how we don't know how good we have it, that we're lucky to have these opportunities. Like, wow. That guy walked right, th walked right there. Our group had dwindled to three within a month. We all had degrees. We'd spent years in university learning the skills, only to live in poverty and squalor as soon as we got out. And barring my student loan, I had no other debt. For most of the year, I ate one meal every two days. It was all I could afford. I was a tad chubby back in uni. Not anymore. I was late on most of my bills. Just not enough money coming in. My credit rating is shot. If I'd spent another month in that situation, I'd probably have declared bankruptcy. It was that bad. I'm sorry to hear that. Things are tough, especially in the big city. And things certainly are not made easier by those exploiting the youth. It's alright. Kinda sucks I'm not using my degree, but... Well, I've only been here, I've only been here, what, a week? I'm happier now that I've been in a long, long time. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Diego is not using his degree either, it seems. I know he had some doubts about moving to Woodcrest, but having heard your story, I can tell he made the right decision. Though, it shocks me that I pay more than an international software conglomerate pays their new grad, their new grad interns. I run a bar. Is it called Patty's Pub? One second, y'all. Water time. Alrighty. Tells you all you need to know about that company. Perhaps when the contract expires, I should look into the competition. And then he dropped the ice all over the floor. And when he went to clean them up, he slipped over. <laughs> what a clutch! <laughs> Between, between us both, things were going incredibly well. We both had talked about ourselves, our past, our goals for the future, and on top of all that, the alcohol was settling in nicely. Perhaps too nicely, considering my noticeably slurred speech. Ooh, excuse me. All the while, Ty claimed to be similarly impaired, and yet he barely betrayed any sign of his intoxication. This, this was a good idea. Thank you for suggesting this, Hunter. Oh, and that reminds me. Ty reached into his pocket and took several bills out of his wallet, handing them to me. What's this? A bonus, or a tip if you will, for your hard work. And worry not, Diego will be receiving one too. I counted out the notes. There was, there was three hundred dollars here. That's a, a big tip. Of course, I would not think to shortchange you. But, you know, I was kind of hoping for a, another big tip. <laughs> if you, uh... Catch my drift. I'm slightly disappointed you would slim stoop so low, Hunter. I was kicking myself. That was terrible. Surely it wouldn't work. Such a dreadful pun. You should be ashamed. Ty chuckled heartily. A, a laugh I returned half-heartedly, still uncertain of how my daring flirt landed. Although, I must concede that it sounds like the perfect way to end such a wonderful night. That is, if you are similarly on board. I was in disbelief. There was no way that worked. Simply no way! Then again, considering the rate at which things have been moving, perhaps I shouldn't have been surprised. Oh, oh, y you're serious? Um, 
Not knowing how else to respond, I sheepishly nodded. Alright, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. Patreon if you can, it always helps. Anyway, I love you all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye bye.